Good morning, church. It's time for morning prayer. And today I have a, uh, a guest a reader. That's my uh, daughter, Sophia. Uh, and so we're going to get started. Again, welcome to our house. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Come, let us adore him. And now we will read the Venite together. Come, Come let, let us sing to the Lord. Lord. Let, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. salvation. Let, Let us come, come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the, the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Come, let us adore him. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 119, verses 145 to 152. We will read the psalm responsibly by whole verse. I call with my whole heart, answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are opened in the night watches, that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness, according to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. And now I have asked Sophia to read the Gospel reading. The Gospel reading appointed for today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 21, verses 33 to 46. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent other slaves more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them saying, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, he will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scripture, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. 
the one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realized that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So proud. <laughs> the canticle uh, that we have selected for today is the canticle that we have been uh, saying together for um, at least a couple of, of weeks, uh, if not a month. Uh, and it should be um, very familiar to you. It's um, glory to God in the highest. Let's say it together. Glory, glory to, to God, God in the highest. highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let's say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And we will continue with the suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The collect uh, that, uh, that I will read is, comes from um, last Sunday, I think. Yeah. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and, and prophets. Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And then let's um, pray the prayer of mission, uh, uh, the prayer for mission uh, together. O oh God, God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and you have sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. 
Grant Grant that people people everywhere everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I would invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. I will um, pray for peace, for the healing of our country. Pray for those who are struggling with COVID and those who are serving them with love and healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's um, conclude with the prayer of St. Chrysostom together. Almighty God, God, you have given given us grace grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And And you you have have promised promised through your your well-beloved Son that that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And thank you for uh, joining us. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll see uh, Sophia uh, again. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.